Look at that. There is nothing. It's just a smudge, a blur. And we drag this across to see what it does. <laughs> that is incredible. Hey, everyone. So in this video, I'm going to go over Topaz Sharpening AI. I've done a video before on Topaz Denoise. An absolutely amazing product, and I can't recommend that enough. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link to it up here in the description below. So full disclosure, I, uh, I bought Topaz Denoise a while back. I used it, found it to be amazing. So I made a video and shared it on, shared it on YouTube. And since so many of you guys have been watching it, liking it, uh, and uh, a few people have been using the links uh, that I put, which I really appreciate, but that meant that I could go back to Topaz and say, and ask if I could have some of their other programs to try them out. So they gave me a bunch of their products and I'm kind of going through them slowly. And uh, the one I've been using a lot lately, I'm actually using it more than Denoise, is Sharpening AI. In the beginning, I wasn't actually too sure about it. Uh, if it was, um, if if it actually made that much of a difference, I felt like I could do sharpening in Photoshop fairly well. But with the recent updates, I'm just basically being blown away by the results, and it's so easy as well. It's so easy. It's just a button. You know, the automatic function on it is really good. So I want to take you guys through a couple of the images that I have, and show you some of the results I've been getting, and I'll go through why I actually use this more than Denoise at the moment. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, my name is Espen, and usually every Sunday I take you guys with me out into the field for some wildlife photography. I basically ran out of time this week, and so I'm going to be doing this video instead. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, ever since I started using uh, Topaz Sharpening AI just all the time. If you want to see a wildlife photography vlog, I'll be coming out with, um, with a video on Tragopan. A lot of you know that I work with Tragopan and I release a monthly video on the Tragopan YouTube channel. So be sure to follow that and I'll be sharing a video where I actually filmed this morning. I hiked a hill and I was up photographing mountain hares using the new 3D poncho which is a really cool item that's coming out now. So be sure to follow the Tragopan YouTube channel, I'll put a link to it, and check out the video that I'll upload this week. Uh, once it's uploaded, I'll put a link here as well to it so you can check it out in case you wanna join me in a little wildlife adventure um, instead of uh, just watching me uh, sit at home doing these kind of videos. So I'm just gonna share my screen with you so I can uh, show you guys how well uh, Topaz sharpening performs. So here, um, uh, this is a recent image that I got while photographing gannets uh, up north in Scotland, uh, Troop Head. I, I really like this image. This is, um, this is edited, but it hasn't been through sharpening just yet. So I'm going to show you guys the kind of small enhancement that it does, and then we'll go into some, to seeing some of the real magic that it can do later on. So let me just open this in Topaz Sharpen. So one of the great things about this is how easy it is. And I, I do a bit of post editing, but I, I don't do that much. I prefer to get it done fairly quickly because I don't like sitting inside editing images all the time. And the automatic functioning on a Topaz sharpening is really good. I don't think they used to be this good before the update, uh, but now with the recent updates, uh, it has become really good. It is now version 2.1.3. Uh, just so, so you know what I'm talking about here. And so basically here, it gives you a couple of options. It gives you automatic to choose if it's, um, basically if it's out of focus, if it needs stabilization or if it's just a sharpening. And surprisingly, it often picks something like out of focus or stabilize, uh, uh, but it's, it's usually very accurate. I've only tried to change this a couple of times and it usually makes it worse. Like usually what it does is accurate. So I trust it pretty much unless I don't like the results and then I might have a, a closer look. So let's just do the automatic, automatic. Uh, this is the settings that it chooses for it. And one of the reasons why I use this actually more than denoise now is because it does actually get rid of noise as well. So if a photo doesn't have like a lot of noise, then I just use uh, Topaz Sharpening and, and that takes care of the noise as well. So I mostly, I don't have to use the noise anymore. Uh, obviously there's still, there's still room for the noise. Uh, as soon as you get up to proper high ISOs, then the noise becomes necessary. Uh, 
because uh, it is a better product for, for the noise reduction. Anyways, that's just uh, basically so automatic, automatic is chosen in the sharpening and the noise suppression for me. And we just go update and you can kind of, I've, I've chosen the slider here so you can kind of see before and after. Uh, I'm recording this uh, in Zoom. I don't know how well it's going to show on on YouTube for you guys. Uh, but I'm hoping that it's going to be as good. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping that you'll see what I can see, or at least most of what I can see. And if you can look here right away, if you look up here at this kind of bluey area, blue gray area, the sea in the background, you can see this on the left here is um, the original image. And this is here is using Topaz. And you can see here it's gotten rid of all the noise right away from all those areas. And I look for the sharpening here. As you can see here, the, the eye, this is close up at 100%. So it's a little bit out of focus. And here is what it does. It's magic. And it just it sharpens that up a lot. That's just a very, very big difference here. And you can see the little you know, the rest of the beak here and stuff. It's got all, and the hair on the back, the gannets, or the hair, <laughs> the feathers on the back of the gannets head here. Uh, it just really brings out that detail. So very happy with that. Then we just go apply and that is done. Uh, here's another one that I've shared recently. All these photos are on my Instagram uh, at Aspen Helen, so you can follow me there. If you want, I'll put a link up to that. Uh, and then here's one where I was just practicing, or just having a little bit of fun one day. I have a YouTube video on this as well. Having a bit of fun with uh, photographing close up with my uh, telephoto lens with the Olympus. Here as well, it is pretty sharp, but you can always go a little bit sharper, right? And there's a little bit of noise in the background as well. So we'll bring this one into Topaz Sharpen AI and see what it does. Okay, so again, just gonna go with the automatic here. It's choosing focus again, which is probably right. It's a little bit out of focus in parts of the body here. Automatic for the settings and then update. And I found that with these macro shots or not true macro, but close up shots of insects, it really makes a big difference to use this program. And again, if you look now, the noise that's here, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be gone now that we see the preview. There we go. I mean, look at that. That is just completely cleaned it up and sharpened these here as well. Like they're, they're actually out of focus. Look at that. And it actually brings it in. Now that's pretty amazing. Now sometimes you'll find that maybe I didn't want that in focus, but they've also introduced a new masking feature here, but I don't really use that. I tend to use this program from Photoshop and I mask it in Photoshop. I think that's a bit uh, better. That's a bit, that works for me anyways. Uh, I can do a future video on my kind of processing for, for these images. Anyways, now though, check out this, uh, this one here. I mean, look at those. That is, that is such a crazy result with a click of a button. Check out the eye and it clears up all the noise, smooths it out and sharpens that eye. All the legs, everything on it. And we'll just see the wing here as well. I mean, look at that wing. That is stuff that's completely out of focus here and it actually sharpens it. That is absolutely amazing. Like just what it does here is stunning. And again, I, it is just automatic, automatic. And that usually does the trick. Um, that's usually more than good enough. So super happy with that. Go on to the next one. Again, this is another one that I've shared on Instagram. And it was from the same video when I was out photographing these kind of uh, invertebrates here. I thought that was really cool. You get it behind this little straw, this piece of grass. You see here the wings are completely out of focus, but I don't really need them to be in focus or sharp, but it might actually be that um, Topaz clears that up anyways. So let's open this in Topaz Sharpen AI. Okay, let's see what I can do here then. We'll put this in the middle. There we go. Automatic. Automatic and update. 
I don't tend to use the auto update because it does take, you know, it does take a few seconds here. So if I move this about, it's just gonna update automatically. So I tend to just leave it manually. Let's see what it does here. And still here, I'm, I've got noise in the image and it just clears that up. And you see here as well, it actually starts showing the detail of these wings that were completely out of focus. Look at that. <laughs> That's insane. There's, there's like nothing there and still it finds it and it puts it in. And look at these eyes and the detail of the body here. Straw itself as well. It's just stunning. And I've shared this one on Instagram and you would never be able to tell, I think, that these were not sharp look at that there is nothing here. it's just a smudge a blur and we drag this across to see what it does <laughs> that is incredible absolutely incredible look at the difference from that to that so as you can probably see now i am super i am super keen on this program and i use it for basically every image that I share, I use this program. And now I use the noise more as a backup and this program doesn't handle the noise very well. If I've used the high ISO, I'll use the noise as well because that's an incredible product. And as I said, I didn't actually, before this update, I wasn't actually so sure about it. I couldn't see that much difference. I think I had to do too much manual and I wasn't that good at it. But now just the ease, the ease of how to, how to do this. So those are the kind of images, those are the images that I wanted to show you guys just to see how good this program is. So check out the link below. You can get 30 days for free. Uh, and sometimes they do deals. Um, sometimes they do deals and uh, you can buy bundles. I can definitely recommend uh, Denoise and this sharpening program. And as I said, sharpening is what I use the most now because it gets rid of so much of the noise that's in an image anyways. So that was, uh, that's it for this video. And apologies for not being finding enough time to go out in the field uh, this week, but I'll be back out next week. And as I said, follow Tragopan, uh, follow the Tragopan YouTube channel. And I got a video coming out there using the 3D camel and also introducing a 3D camel blanket. So check that out and hope you guys are all well. I'll see you next week. Bye.